Good morning, students. Let's continue with chapter number 13, Pythagoras Theorem, Module 3. Practice set 49, question number 2. The sides of some triangles are given below. Find out which ones are right triangle triangles. Sub question 1, 8, 15, 17. Now, dear children, we are given lengths of sides of a triangle. Now, we need to check whether these uh, lengths of sides of a triangle belong to a right angle triangle or not. So, to check it, what we will do is we will check whether these uh, group of three numbers is a Pythagorean triplet or not. So, we'll be using the same steps as we have done in question number one. So let's start. Step number one, we are going to take sum of squares of two smaller sides, that is eight and 15. So let's square them. Eight square plus 15 square. Now eight square is 64 plus 15 square is 225 let's add them we get 289 this can be taken up as equation number one now let's take the square of the largest side largest side is 17 so 17 square is 289 this can be taken up as equation two now let's see what we observe in equation 1 and 2. Now in equation 1 and 2, we can see 8 square plus 15 square and 17 square. Both the values are 289. So we can write, therefore, from 1 and 2, 8 square plus 15 square is equals to 17 square. That means 8, 15, 17 is a Pythagorean triplet. So we can write the final statement if it is a Pythagorean triplet. So it's these uh, sides belong to a right angle triangle. Therefore, 8, 15, 17 are the lengths of a right angle triangle. Let's move to the next sum. Sub question 4. The sides of a triangle are 1.5, 1.6, and 1.7. So the first step will be sum of squares of two smaller sides, that is 1.5 and 1.6. So 1.5 square plus 1.6 square is equals to now 1.5 square is 2.25 and 1.6 square means 1.6 into 1.6 the answer will be 2.56 let's add them 2.25 plus 2.56 is equals to 4.81 this can be taken up as equation 1. Now let's take up the square of the largest side. Largest side is 1.7. So 1.7 square is equals to 1.7 into 1.7 that is 2.89. This can be taken up as equation 2. Now dear children, what do we observe from equation equation 1 and equation 2. Value in equation 1 is 4.81 and in equation 2 we have 2.89. So what do you think? Are they equal? No. So we can write therefore from 1 and 2 1.5 square plus 1.6 square is not equal to 1.7 square. So 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1 
is not a Pythagorean triplet. So we can write the final statement. Therefore, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7 are not the lengths of the sides of a right angle triangle. Let's continue with sub question 5. 40, 20, 30. Dear children, we need to check whether these sides belong to a right angle triangle or not. Let's see the first step. We need to take the sum of squares of two smaller sides, that is 20 and 30. So 20 square plus 30 square is equals to 20 square is 400 and 30 square is 900. So 400 plus 900 is, yes, it's 1300. This can be taken up as equation number one. Now let's square the largest side, that is 40. 40 square is 1600. This can be taken up as equation number two. Now, dear children, tell me what do you observe from equation number one and two? Yes, we observe that 20 square plus 30 square is not equal to 40 square. So we can write, therefore, from one and two, 20 square plus 30 square is not equal to 40 square. So what we conclude from this? Yes, we conclude that 20, 30 and 40 is not a Pythagorean triplet. Since it is not a Pythagorean triplet means these set of numbers do not satisfy Pythagoras theorem. Means the triangle is not going to be a right angle triangle. So we can write the final statement as 40, 20, 30 are not the lengths of sides of a right angle triangle. Let's go to the next sub question. Sub question 3. We have 11, 60, 61. Let's go for the first step. Let's take sum of two smaller sides. That is 11 and 60. 11 square plus 60 square. 11 square is 11 into 11. That is 121. 60 square is 60 into 60. 3600. So let's add them. 121 plus 3600 is equals to 3721. That is 3721. This can be taken up as equation number one. Now let's square the largest side that is 61. 61 square is 3721. That is equation number two. Now dear children, Tell me what we observe from equation 1 and equation 2. Yes, we can see that 11 square plus 60 square is 3721. Also, 61 square is also 3721. This means both are equal. That is 11 square plus 60 square is equals to 61 square. So, what we can call 11, 60 and 61 as? Yes, now they can be called as an Pythagorean triplet. Means 
1160 and 61 follow Pythagoras theorem means these sides can be lengths of a right angle triangle. So we can write the final statement as therefore 1160 61 are the lengths of a right angle triangle. Now, dear children, we have already completed with the exercises of this chapter. So now let's move to the mental maths of this chapter. Now, uh, in mental maths, you need to follow certain rules. Rule number one, be ready with your notebook and pen. Rule number two, I will read out the questions. You will listen question carefully and write only answers. Rule number three, you have to leave a line to write the questions later on. Rule number four, very important. You have only 30 seconds per question. You need to write the answer in this time limit. Mental Maths question number one. In which type of triangle the property of Pythagoras theorem is applicable? Dear children, your time starts now. The time is up. Second question. What is the largest site of a right angle triangle called as? Your children, your time starts now. Your time is up. Time for the next question. Question number three is 6, 8, 10 a Pythagorean triplet? Your time starts now. Yes, your time is up. Let's go for the next question. Question number four. If three centimeter comma four centimeter are two sides of a right angle triangle, then what will be the length of hypotenuse? The time starts now. Your time is up. Let's move to the next question. Last one. In triangle ABC, AB is equals to 9 centimeter, BC is equals to 40 centimeter, AC is equals to 41 centimeter. 
Now you need to identify the right angle. That is, name the right angle in triangle ABC. Your time starts now. The time is up. So we have completed with five questions. Let's see the answers. First answer, right angle triangle. That is Pythagoras theorem property is applicable in right angle triangle. Second answer, hypotenuse. Third answer, yes, 6, 8, 10 is a Pythagorean triplet. Dear children, you need to uh, do working quickly in rough and uh, then you can come to the conclusion whether it is a right angle, whether the 6, 8, 10 is a Pythagorean triplet or not. Then next, fourth answer, 5 centimeter. You need to apply Pythagoras theorem for this so that we can get the length of hypotenuse that is hypotenuse square will be equals to 3 square plus 4 square 3 square is 9 plus 4 square is 16 9 plus 16 is 25 so hypotenuse will be equal to square root of 25 that is 5 centimeter for the last answer Answer is angle B. Now, how do we identify the right angle from the given sides? Now, just check which is the largest side. Largest side is AC. Now, the name of the triangle is ABC. Out of that, AC is the longest side. So, which is the vertex which is remaining now? Yes, it's vertex B. So, angle B is the angle which is opposite to hypotenuse AC. And we know angle that is a side opposite to right angle is called as hypotenuse. So, in this case, angle opposite to AC is angle B which is a right angle. I hope you got all the answers correct. Dear children, you need to solve practice set 49, question number 2 and also you need to write these mental math sums in your notebook. Thank you.